Welcome everyone to another episode of the Bus Ride Series Season 1. In this episode, as the title of the video suggests, we are going to be building a nice little barn for our world. This will be the first project we've done uh, other than get our base together. Um, just something extra and out of the ordinary. So uh, I needed a place I wanted to get all my cows and sheep out of the way and and uh, what better way to do that than to build a barn. So let me give you a quick detour or a detour, a quick tour of the facility and show you what uh, what I've got going on with it and then I'll give you a quick rundown on how to build it here. All right. Uh, and you could set up, I got slime everywhere, they just get caught up in here, I hate them. Yeah, I wish I could kill them without killing myself, but I try and it kills me. So, I got these pins, and uh, one and a half down, plus plus the uh, fencing here. I just, I hate it when all my cows disappear, so, uh, or disappear when they all jump out of the pin. Uh, so by building it down like this, it makes it a little easier. And then plus, I, I was working on, I was trying to make a automated farm uh, for killing them and gathering their their product their meat and and leather but uh, I decided not to do it with this what I made end up doing is building an attachment to it like a slaughterhouse and then uh, just lure out a whole bunch and kill them that way uh, but I'm not gonna put that inside if you want to then go right ahead yeah, he looks a little upset he's ramming the other one um, all right so this is this, all right, and then uh, drop down here, show you guys. Got a little ladder up here. Every barn, if you've ever been in a barn, you know it's got a little little storage spot up in up in the top, a little attic spot. And and uh, for those of us that had experience on farms as a kid, these are great places to go and hide and just kind of get away from the family. So. Um, anyways, I probably won't in my world. I probably won't use these chests much, and who knows? Maybe we can hook up some. Uh, uh, build craft pipes to them and, and pipe stuff so it's up here you know maybe build it, throw in some hoppers and on top of piping and once you get done uh, grooming all your sheep you can throw the wool in and it'll sort it all out for him we'll see but right at this point I just did it made it look nice got a couple gates up here to uh, you know danger danger don't want to walk out here but uh, and then the, these are just like the main support beams uh, we'll talk about this a little bit more as we get to building building it but uh these chests i just threw them in here for you know to fill up some space they don't necessarily have to be there uh, i did have one here and um and then what this is in the middle what i did here uh it's just to simulate make it look like there's barn doors inside here and if you want you could really set up some pistons and make it actual closing doors in your world if that's what you want to do uh, but i'm not doing it I, i'm just this is just aesthetics and and uh I don't need to shut the doors in mine, and then here's the back of the house, all right, and uh, probably a little more windows and glass than what really goes on a barn, but, uh, you know, I wanted to make a nice look to it, and this is my design, um, I, didn't, I didn't copy this from anywhere, so uh, it's all original, feel free to use this design and, and uh, change it up, do it a little bit different, this just kind of throw out some ideas. All right, I went ahead and laid out the foundation here, the one here that we're looking at. This is uh, just with numbers marked, give you some dimensional looks at it. And the one on the right there, that's the uh, one we're actually going to be building up. I'm going to show you. We're just going to run through and build it up real fast. All right. Uh, originally, when I was designing this, I wanted to do uh, a 30 by 40. Um, but one thing you got to re remember when you're building in your world is scale. Um, if you build something that large, you have to scale, especially being really our first exterior building, our first really visible building in our world, you got to think of scale. So everything you build after this is going to have to be scaled uh, either down or up accordingly. And uh, barns in real life are generally bigger than houses and things like that. They're usually about one and a half, sometimes two times bigger than houses. Uh, so you got to just kind of keep that in mind. You could build sizes whatever you want. You can build this 40 by 50 if you want. Um, it's just all to just keep it in mind if you want things to look uh, like they belong in your world, you, you got to keep scale in mind. That's something we'll talk about as we get further into the series and uh, into the season. We'll talk more about scale. Um, but instead, what I did, I actually started out and I, I decided to do a 20 by 30. Um, I do kind of wish I had the extra space inside, as you can tell over there, and you'll see once we get over to the real world. Um, 
I could have probably, it would have been nice to have that little bit of extra room, but it's not that big of a deal. You can make turn into farmland and put fencing outside the, the barn and whatever you want to do. But this seemed to work out. And uh, once I added the doors to it, um, it actually extended it. It's, it's 32 long. So that from corner to corner, it's 32 blocks. And, but wide, it's still the same. It's still uh, uh, 20 blocks wide. All right, so what we did here was uh, we want the front door and the back door to be lined up. So uh, we did eight blocks from the corner, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? And then four blocks worth of entry, and then uh, three blocks wide right here before the, the cut in. And actually we got a little indent right there to create a nice shadow line. Um, and then five blocks there. Uh, those cutouts right there, if you can tell on the, when we took the tour of the other one, uh, will be man doors. We'll put man doors right there and uh, create a nice little overhang, you know, where you can park your tractor or whatever you want. All right. Um, so that's five. And then we cut in here. I believe this is seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's actually eight. So um, going back, we got 24 blocks back that way. And then the back, it's going to be pretty much this it, symmetrical here. It's going to be the eight like it was up front four for the dot walkway and then eight here so it's nice and, and the doorway is nice and centered in there all right so i don't want to bore you to death with laying a bunch of blocks you guys know how to lay blocks down um, pretty much all i'm going to do for you is uh, uh, give you guys the proper dimensions for how i built mine and give you some reasons why i did the things i did and just kind of help you lay it out that way um, so i'll probably end up fast forwarding through a lot of this um, but the two uh, more difficult tasks with this was building the front of the barn and then that interior attic and uh, so those will be my main talking points so let's go ahead and start there what we did here for the side was uh, right here on the corner we go four high so there's one two three four and it will actually be four and a half high all right and then from here for most of the way through this we'll just step everything up a half a block all right so there's five all right and then from here we will start stepping up uh, full blocks come across the walkway here all 10 high okay these will be 10 high so uh, but right in the center it will actually be a total of 10 and a half high all right and we'll fill this in in just a second here uh, and then here we're going to just mirror what we did to the other side the only difference being once we reach that corner there we won't bring it all the way down it'll be a straight line and it'll be the same height as we're going to make this door here what we're going to do with this doorway here is we want this to be uh, a four block high walkway so two three four and then put the f one up there on the fifth block All right, so that's the look at the front of the house there. Uh, we'll go ahead and worry about the indents and the glass and everything like that in just a little bit. Um, now just go ahead and mirror that and fill in the back here. All right, we're going to do this uh, too deep. Go ahead and leave this open right here. We're actually going to take some wool and fill it in here. Use whatever color you want. You don't have to do the door if you don't want to, but that's what we did here. And this will actually, to cover up the wool, um, just fill this in right here like so. And then do the same thing with the other side when you get to it.
All right, while we got this all open, let's go ahead and throw in some flooring here. Um, use half slabs, knock it down here. You'll see as we draw the roof back, uh, pretty much where our space is gonna be. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe this block here is where our chests are gonna end up being. So this will all pretty much be a walkway up here. But just take for now, don't go out too far, just uh, get yourself a nice little space here for the flooring. I believe, we'll count it when we get to the back, but um, I believe it's actually going to end up being 12 blocks or 11 blocks uh, long uh, from the front of the house. So I'll give a nice little decent walkway here. Um, in the center will actually be, and we'll do that right now before I forget, this will actually be whole blocks. Uh, to give the look of a real structure, it's going to have something this massive, it's going to have some support beams. So we kind of want to make this a little thicker, and that's where they extend all the way through the barn. Um, just to kind of give the perception of support beams. I said at the beginning of this, I've only built this uh, twice. This uh, is my third time building it, so I may end up having to cheat a little bit. So four wide, two for the beam, and then four wide. Okay, that's pretty much the only walking space you're going to get in this up here. Um, and then on the sides, this will be all walkway. And then this will be where we put our chests. The way I came out with 11 deep, I believe is what it was, go like this, and then two chests, block in between, two chests, block in between. Then just mirror what you did on this side. Nope, and I was wrong on that. This is where the whole block, final whole block will go. Okay, yeah, and then we'll just put our fencing. We'll do it now, but our fencing will just go along that with a couple gates in the middle. All right, and that's pretty much that. Um, pretty simple we'll we'll touch it up in just a little bit um, now just go ahead and draw back your roof and your walls um, start with the exterior walls here What I actually did here, just to create some shadow lines, was I actually brought this up inside the barn. You'll see towards the end, but I'm going to do this now. And I did these uh, as half blocks. This one's kind of a pain in the butt uh, because the roof and the way the half blocks are, they're actually going to have to use multiple.
except for on the other side and uh, these ones can be just drawn back I just did that to create uh, some nice shadow lines but the only one really we're going to draw back is these two center ones which are our main support Alright, that's the basic shape of the house and the inside. We will put a cross beam up here once we uh, figure out where the center is and that'll be easy enough, we'll do, but it'll be a little easier once we got the windows, put the windows holes in on the other side. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe it's two, I believe this is how I did it. Let's go cheat. Let's go take a look. See how I did this other side. Uh, four. Three up front there because it wasn't quite good enough. And then one, two, three, four, five, six in between. All right. Just like that. Right, and then this is actually the center 
should be the center of the house. All right, before we finish the inside here, let's go ahead and we need to knock out, create some shadow lines here. And how do we knock that out? I believe there was two in the middle. Let's go cheat. We'll cheat one more time. Yeah, probably won't be the last time, but we'll cheat anyways. Okay, so we got two that are flush, then the rest are just inset. All right. That one's relatively easy. We'll have to lay some more blocks on the inside to back this up here, but we'll get it figured out. And what that does, especially once we throw torches up there at nighttime, it creates, an, it creates a nice shadow line. Right? It gives it some depth. And we're actually going to come out just a touch further with the roof. We're going to come out one more tile from the roof. So actually it's longer than 32 blocks long. It'll actually be 34 when you count the eave that we're going to put on. But houses and stuff have eaves. I know it's a barn, but still it creates nice shadow lines. So that's what we will do. We still need to bring the roof back a little bit right there. That's easy money. Go check the front because this one will also have some shadow lines. All right, this one we went one, two. How do we do that? I believe that was it. We had a frame. Yeah, we had a frame around the window. All right, so we cut out one, two, three, one, two, one. Two, three, one, two, one. All right, and there'll be a window up here. Throw in some torches in there. Give it a nice look. Did I go up any further on that? Nope. Just wanted to make sure I didn't go. I did go four high on that window, did I? Nope, I only went three high. Okay. Just making sure. Better safe than sorry. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Man. Let me throw up some more torches. And we'll be a little more strategic with the torches in a minute just to make it look better. For the most part, pretty much it. And we'll throw in our windows here. The rest is just kind of details. Um, which I don't want to uh, ignore the details um, because that's really what makes the building look unique and um, just kind of adds some touch to it and, and artistic value, I guess, if you were. I, I mean, as I said in episode one of this season, I'm not really the most um, talented when it comes to uh, artistry and things of that nature. I'm more of a blueprint. Uh, I follow the bl blueprints, but um, I just kind of found my groove with this barn, really. It just kind of, um, I was really kind of pleased with it. I mean, it's not the best looking barn. I've seen some other ones uh, on YouTube that uh, uh, are in much better shape, um, but uh, for uh, my work, what I bring to the table, this, uh, this came out pretty good, I think. Um, I don't think I did that on the other one, but that's all right. Um, what did I do on the other one? I don't know. I don't remember. Anyways, um, trying to think exactly how I ran this through. I, I'm pretty sure that's what I did. Maybe I did it backwards. Um, I don't remember. Okay, so to 
finish with some details here. All right, since we got the main support beam coming across, uh, you kind of want to give it that depth. Oops. You want to give it that depth to make it look like the uh, support beam because, you know, that's not going to be enough to support it. You, you got to have add a little strength to your beams here. All right. So we'll go like this. Uh, just kind of extend it down and like that. Like that. Okay. And I added some windows here. I believe this one was actually a pretty big one. Two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. This will work. Make the window as big as or as small as you want. I just did it. It helps out with the, uh, you know, lighting the place up and and helps you see outside for creepers and whatnot. So uh, windows are definitely useful. And again, to help with the shadow line, go ahead and just take half blocks all the way around the front and the back and create an eave over the house. Just like I said, it helps out, just kind of gives it that third dimension. All right, there you have it. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, with the half blocks here, uh, it makes the ladder not go all the way up to the top floor. Um, but you can still get up. You don't have to jump or anything when you get to the end of the ladder. Just don't, 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 don't. Climb up, and bam, you get in. So take some chests, fill these in. Like I said, it, this is stuff you can really do on your own. I'm probably fast forwarding through this. If not, well, then you get to hear me talk. Um, forgot to put in a window there. Uh, but the details are important, the little details. Um, so the kids don't fall off while they're back here. All right, and that's it. Um, hope you guys liked it. We're gonna go to the to uh, the regular world here, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I put it in my world. Show you what I did. Um, did I do that up there? I did not do that up there. Well, that kind of didn't look too bad. If you think it looks something looks good, do it. It doesn't matter if I did it or not. Um, and I don't think I did do that back there. Um, then just take your torches, you know, find some good spots for them there. You can't set them on half slabs, so there, um, you know. So let's go ahead and take off to our survival world. I'll show you what I did right there, and I think this episode was definitely long enough. I don't know where it's at after we uh, fast forward through parts, um, but I know it's definitely long enough, so the rest of it uh, we will do in the next episode. So let's go check that out real quick. Alright, I haven't done anything too much special since the last time I showed you guys this. Um, I added a couple more machines, uh, that's about it. Um, another furnace, uh, extractor, uh, that's the compressor, and the recycler. Uh, I was getting way too much cobblestone and zombie brains and whatnot, so I did that. Um, power's still the same except for I did go up, and uh, I've got 30, I've got 30 solar panels up top now. So, and I've done a ton of mining, so I, I've got quite a bit of resources. Um, still not enough. If I do stuff like solar panels, as you guys know, those are pretty uh, expensive, uh, especially for iron. But here's here's the barn here. You can see this is where I had all my sheep and my cow. Uh, that's where I got it now. Keep in mind as you're doing this. Um, there are spots in here. I haven't had too much of a problem, but uh, from night to days, uh, the skeletons are smart. They will run in here to get away from the uh, sunlight. So just 
always be cautious when you come in here without having op you know closing doors and things like that but here's mine it's pretty much the same I just got it lined out with some torches uh, I do have the pins put in here like I said just do it however you want um, whatever makes you feel comfortable I added you know a little water trough there for him and uh, same thing over here the sheep I just put uh, one trough in there uh, is the night almost over now okay um, but other than that it's, it's uh, it works out pretty well I like this I'll show you here like I said I I put in a ladder to help me get in and out if need be um, but I'll show you here I've added some things I have got um, a nano so a sword and just so you guys know I don't even though I use any I I don't take anything off of any I I work for everything I've got a mine and if you're interested if you want to see how I strip mine I do I do some strip mining um, but I do mine my resources and actually right now I do have the industrial craft miner going uh, the build craft quarry is uh, probably the most powerful but uh, the miner works and uh, I've got that set up in another spot what I do want to do what I was hoping to get to today but it'll have to wait till next episode is uh, even though I've got uh, the jet pack here I'll show you I, I do have the electric jet pack um, I still want to walk away and I've got the nano suit this nano suits pretty awesome I can walk around at night and take quite a beating um, upgraded I was able to get a power four flame and infinity bow so that's uh, that's been pretty nice for things like uh, the nether um, but anyways uh, show you guys this here I, I, I want to I'm gonna do the staircase I want to build a little patio out here um, I was hoping that was today but that will be next episode so uh, I got my miner right now set up over there while we're flying up here I have been to the nether I've got my portal set up there I kinda see this as like an amphitheater style so I do I don't know if I want to do this like an Inca temple style uh, walkways going up to that um, using the nether rack I've gotten from the nether or if I want to just like I said and it, it just when I look at it it looks like an amphitheater so I may do that do like a half dome around that and and put up my tripod staircase going up there um, we'll figure that we'll do that um, I just want to show you guys this real quick before the end of the day I do have a bunch of solar panels up here uh, 30 of them I can't put up any more um, I could probably put up two more but I really can't put up any more without changing that tin wire um, to copper or something stronger because I will pop some wire um, but that's pretty much it there's my barn uh, I hope you guys liked it um, if you did then uh, go ahead and give me a rating give me some thumbs up uh, subscribe to me if you haven't done so already and if you have subscribed to me thank you and welcome and I hope uh, I can continue to produce some nice videos for you guys um, and go ahead and share it if you know anybody who might benefit from this who might like it go ahead and share it to them recommend them that uh, uh, you know they watch my videos and if you got any questions or uh, want to see something in a little more detail oh see and I didn't uh, I didn't bring out my Eve here I may have to do that off camera uh, I didn't give me give me an Eve uh, go ahead and leave me a comment let me know and uh, let me know what you guys think of what you would like to see in future episodes uh, if you want to see a tutorial on something specific then uh, I think we're gonna start working on some pathways uh, next episode in the staircase there we'll figure that out uh, but until then rate subscribe and uh, leave me some comments later